Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to do an intro on one of my favorite software programs, WikiDPad. WikiDPad is basically a personal wiki software on your own computer. So it doesn't take any internet, you can use it completely on your own. Um, it's not like something that goes out and sits on a server, but it's really neat because it's just like Wikipedia and you can link topics together. WikiDPad is extremely useful for organizers and researchers and authors, and that's kind of how I got into it. I enjoy writing, and so WikiDPad is a really convenient way for me to be able to keep track of all that information. A WikiDPad is a wiki-like notebook for storing your thoughts, ideas, to-do lists, contacts, and everything else that you can think of to write down. And that comes directly from the SourceForge page. Everything in your wiki is real-time, so when you make a change, using the editor tool, which you can go and you can make changes here. So if I, you know, maybe I want to put in artists, I type it in here. I can go back and voila. So everything you do is immediate, has an immediate effect on the wiki. You don't have to upload anything at all. And so the best part, WikiDPad is free because it's an open source software. It's created by Jason Horman. I might have spelled that wrong. It might be Harman. In June 2005 and in October, Michael Butcher, sorry if I ruined your name, he took over as the main developer of WikiDPad, so many thanks to those guys. And real quick, we're going to show you a little bit of what WikiDPad can do. Now, most of this information here is pulled directly from uh, Wikipedia. You can see we got all of our links here, uh, Pembroke College, you know, The Hobbit, all of the main points, the things that we'd want to link other topics to. So we're going to go down here in our tree here on the left. It helps you keep track of where you are where you've been and what you've jumped to. And so you can just hit the back button. It's really, really useful. You can create to-do lists, update this as you go. There is a mobile version of WikiDPad. I haven't used it very much. So if you have and you have ideas or thoughts, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Pretty neat. The software is pretty intuitive. So if I come in here, I'm going to make you know, an edit here and I want to make another bullet point. I've got the bullet points already set up. So when I hit enter, it automatically generates a new bullet point. I can say here, make new bullet point, right? Super easy. Go right back and you're right back in your preview or your reader view. And also don't forget uh, to consider donating Michael Boucher so he can continue to bring new features and updates to WikiDPad. If you think this is going to work for you, please, by all means, download it. Um, there's going to be another video after this. I'm going to show you guys where to get the software and go through some of the steps to download it. And yeah. WikiDPad is an extremely useful software. All kinds of people can use it. It's good for all sorts of things. It's really easy to keep track of all your information. So highly recommended. You guys should definitely take a look at it. If you made it to the end of this video, you're probably asking yourself, why should you subscribe? First off, when you like and share my video, it improves my statistics. When your family and your friends see this video, YouTube can monetize my content. And that helps me afford better equipment and lets me make more time to make you guys new videos. So really, it's about helping me help you. Subscribing tells YouTube that you want more of my content. So go ahead and subscribe.